just found in the second swing store is the Titleist Tour model from 1991. Oh my God. <laughs> these blades are some beauties. I feel like I'm gonna miss it. I'm excited to test these against some newer blades and we'll take a look and see if there's any major differences. This thing is gonna be incredibly hard to hit. Oh boy, that did not throw pretty good. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I'm excited today. I'm gonna be doing a blade versus blade test. Blade from 30 years ago to a blade that was the latest model available in 2021. I have the Titleist Tour model from 1991. It is a beauty. It has got a very, very thin top line, very small profile, and I have a two iron through pitching wedge set here that I'm going to compare. I'm also gonna compare the Callaway Apex MB blades. These are the blades that I'm gonna be playing in 2021. I'm gonna be playing the seven iron through pitching wedge in this set, so I'm excited to test the seven iron and pitching wedge, but then I'm gonna flip flop it. Then I'm gonna actually hit that two iron with the Tor model against the four iron with the Apex MB just to see if there's any major differences. I anticipate that that four iron might actually even keep up with the two iron with regards to numbers. I'm excited to test this. We're gonna see some big differences because there are some loft changes in clubs in the last 30 years, but not so much with blades. Blades have not really changed too much. They're not game improvement irons. The loft of the loft and the ball will go a certain distance. So let's hit some shots and then compare these blades. First off, I'm gonna start with the Pitching Wedge Apex MB. Then we'll hit the Tor model Titleist Pitching Wedge as well, and we'll take a look at the difference. The loft differences between these over 30 years has changed by three degrees. So the Apex MB Pitching Wedge has got 46 degrees, while the Titleist Tor model has 49 degrees. First up, let's talk about the pitching wedges. So first thing I actually noticed was the Tor model actually seemed a little bit larger than the Apex MB, especially from heel to toe. I'm looking at the soles here too, and the pitching wedge Tor model definitely is kind of a little bit larger, which is kind of interesting. So you'd think that the Apex MB might be a little bit less forgiving because of the smaller club head, but it's kind of interesting if you take a look at the, the ball speed and the club speed. It was pretty much the exact same club speed when it was 84.7 with both clubs, but the Apex MB did give me almost four miles an hour more ball speed. That is to do with the loft. As I mentioned, there's a three degree difference in loft. The Apex MB is 46, while the Titleist Tour model from 1991 is 49 degrees of loft. It's kind of interesting. What happens when you have a club that's got less loft on it? it's going to spin less. So you'll notice when I was hitting the Apex MB pitching wedge, my spin rate was like 79.27. When I was hitting the Titleist Tour model, it was about 9,100 RPMs. So over a thousand RPMs more spin with the Titleist Tour model pitching wedge than the Apex MB. I always like to say every degree of loft is about three to four yards. So if we look here and we see the carry distance was separated by nine yards, and the total distance was separated by 11 yards. So we're on to something with regards to the loft differences in clubs. Really interesting so far. I was actually kind of surprised how forgiving the pitching wedge with the tour model seemed. Let's move on down with the seven iron and take a look at those numbers. So that last shot was a miss hit with the Apex MB. You'll notice how the spin rate dropped, the ball speed dropped, but the distance was still very, very consistent, which is important. And that's even a blade. So let's compare the older model now, the Tor model from Titleist built in 1991, and we'll see if there's any differences. Okay, seven iron. This one's gonna be intriguing. We always fit with seven irons for iron fittings at second swing. So I'm always interested to see the numbers with certain clubs with the seven iron. 
What's kind of interesting is I was actually swinging the Titus Tour model just a little bit faster with my club speed by 0.3, so pretty close. But you'll notice what happened to the ball speed. I lost, once again, three miles an hour ball speed with the Tour model versus the Apex MB. So naturally, I'm going to get a little bit less distance because more ball speed is going to equal more distance. Kind of interesting, you take a look at the launch angle. The ball was actually launching four degrees lower with the Callaway Apex MB, and it was launching at 18.7 versus 22.8 with the Titleist Tour model. That is actually kind of a huge difference because with player of my speed, I'm going to need to launch that ball a little bit lower. Otherwise, it's going to get up in there and spin a lot. Talking of spin, so we'll notice here about a 1200 RPM difference in spin. So we'll notice when I was hitting the Apex MB, it was like 5500 RPMs on average. And then about 66, 6700 RPMs with the Titleist Tour model. So I would like to say every degree of loft about three to four yards. Pretty close here once again. You'll notice that I lost about 13 yards of distance with the Titleist Tour model. Titleus Tour model 7 iron lofts 37 degrees. You can't find that in a iron these days, unfortunately. Um, Callaway Apex MB is 34 degrees, which is actually pretty high up there with regards to loft for irons as well, because it is a blade. But definitely notice a big difference there in the carry and in total distance. I lost 20 yards uh, in total distance there because the ball was spinning a little bit more with the Tour model and going a little bit less. And finally, the height. This is really interesting. Normally about 100 to 110 feet in the air is what's considered sort of tour average for your mid-irons. Well, I was about 110 feet in the air with the Callaway Apex MB, but with the Titleist Tour model, 128 feet in the air. It's very, very high. So when professional golfers were playing these irons back in the day, they definitely had to learn how to flight the ball very, very well to get if they had wind. Keep in mind, they also had a different golf ball as well. So really, really different. Definitely would rather play the Callaway Apex MB iron, 7 iron. Now I want to test the 2 iron versus the 4 iron. So I'm excited to do this because, one, that uh, Tour Model 2 iron looks like a knife. It looks like a knife, butter knife looking down at. Doesn't look like there's really any margin of error for it there as well. And then I also want to do the Callaway Apex MB 4 iron. That's actually the longest iron that I play in my bag these days, but I want to see if there's any difference in regards to distance or spin or anything like that. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to expect there might be some similarities with distance, even though we're talking about two different clubs. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna miss it. This thing is going to be incredibly hard to hit. Oh boy, that did not throw very good. First off, I'm going to say it now, I don't want to ever have hit a 2 on in my life again. That was, that was painful to see where the ball went, how it felt. And I didn't pick up any more distance over this four iron, which is incredible. So it's amazing the changes in technology these days. So let's take a look at the numbers. This is going to be really interesting. So two iron tour model versus Callaway Apex MB four iron. So I did swing the tour model just a little bit faster. We're talking about almost a mile an hour faster. You would expect that the club is just a little bit longer than the four iron. Um, what's really kind of interesting is I actually got more ball speed with the Callaway Apex MB 4 iron that I did with the Tour Model 2 iron. So we do know that the lofts on the 4 iron is 23 degrees of loft, so it's got 3 degrees more loft than the Tour Model at 20 degrees. So the 2 iron had 20 degrees of loft on it. It's kind of something to think about back in the day. There was still a decent amount of loft. That's now 3 iron numbers. But it's kind of interesting that I was getting less ball speed with this because it's not nearly as forgiving as the newer technology is. Uh, if we look at the launch angle, it's kind of interesting. I did leave the face open more with the Tour model, but it still launched lower. So the launch angle was still a degree lower 
even though I didn't hit it very well, I left the face wide open going over to the right. So that's also very interesting that the old Blade 2 iron used to launch very, very low. If we take a look at the other numbers, so the spin rate was pretty similar between the two of them, right around about 35, 3600 RPM. So we take a look at the other numbers. Once again, the 4 iron actually carried further, even though I left the face a little bit open with the Titleist Tor model there as well. It actually went the same distance pretty much, 4 iron versus 2 iron. Something to think about. So if you're playing some old blades, if you've got some old blades in your bag, you could probably use a little bit of an upgrade. So we'll talk about how to upgrade here during this video at coming into getting trades at second swing. Um, but finally, let's talk about the height. So we took, if you'd like to look at the height here, I was hitting the Callaway Apex MB4 iron 105 feet in the air. I did mention I left the face open. Normally, if you leave the face open on a golf club, it's going to fly higher. It still did fly 12 feet lower than the 4-iron. So that's kind of interesting to, to see that there. Even though I left the face open on it, you can see on the dispersion pattern, I had a hard time hitting it. I'm not going to lie, and I'm never going to want to hit it again in my life. Um, but you can kind of see how it was flying lower. And what's going to happen then, you're playing a 2-iron or 3-iron in your bag, probably might want to give yourself a little more loft to get ball up in the air a little bit, make life a little bit easier for you. So speaking of trades, second swing, we do accept trades at our store. It helps a great way to offset prices on new golf clubs. We accept them in the store and also online at secondswing.com. And then come in and get fit. If you can come in and get fit for your new irons in our stores or online, we can definitely help you find an upgrade from blades that you may be playing for the past or any, any, any older technology that you might be playing if you're wishing to upgrade your technology to something newer, more forgiving, and easier to hit. This is probably one of the most interesting tests that I've done so far. Blades in a 2-iron, definitely not for me and definitely not from technology that's 30 years old. We've showcased that a 4-iron actually outperformed the 2-iron, blade versus blade. And we also noticed with the 7-iron and the pitching wedge, the ball was going a little bit further, spinning a little bit less, and a lot easier to hit.